Wednesday afternoon, top officials from the Ministry of Health alongside county chiefs drawn from Kajiado, Narok, Elgeyo Marakwet and Kiambu met in Nairobi to crystallize partnership on the universal health care coverage. The two sides will sign the Intergovernmental Partnership Agreement to ensure implementation of the health scheme, which was piloted in four counties, is successfully undertaken all across the country. And in order to progressively implement UHC, the national government in this financial year will make an initial investment of $41.9 billion in key strategic areas informed by lessons that have been learned from the pilot and existing health system gaps. The four counties enlisted for the program rollout in their jurisdictions on Wednesday amid expectation that the others will follow suit ahead of January 20th deadline. And we are doing it, we are doing this because of our people, you know. Our people need to access uh, universal health coverage. Quality and uh, affordable universal health coverage, which is why we are committing ourselves. So, And this step uh, that we are getting additional staff courtesy of this uh, UHC will really solve a lot of challenges in my county. And uh, with that, I we really appreciate a number of youth are waiting for them to be um, uh, taken on board so that they can start providing services at, uh, at our facilities. But even as they penned the agreement, there remains concerns over move by NHIF board to draw new regulations over its health insurance scheme. Outgoing Health Cabinet Secretary Cecily Kariuki says the NHIF board must henceforth kickstart consultations in line with its mandate in a bid to lighten the burden associated to cost of health care on common citizens. It should be noted that in terms of UHT sustainability, NHIF still remains the vehicle and mechanism that will outlive every other intervention that we are putting in place today. On Tuesday, President Kenyatta issued a directive halting the new regulations. Kamchemenza for Channel 1 News.